you love cookies. Brookie, I'm so excited you're here for a sleepover. This is gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be amazing. Oh my God, I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> I know, I'm excited too. I'm missing Daisy just a little bit though. What? Not me. You should try living with her. I'm glad she has a dance competition this weekend. It's just me and my BFF. Really, I love your bunny pajamas. And I love your pajamas. We're both wearing pink because we're BFFs. And basically, we always think alike. Pretty much always. Yeah, except for the part where you never do your homework. Okay, yeah. We're a little different there. Hey, Brookie, you want some ice cream? Mm. Sure, Molly, I'd love some. I know. No peanut butter, though. Molly, you remembered. Of course I remembered. Brookie, you've always been allergic to peanut butter since we were in preschool. <sighs> yeah, just sometimes people don't remember. And one time I had some peanut butter in my ice cream. It was chocolate fudge with little bits of peanut butter in it. And disaster struck. I remember the disaster we had in preschool. I'll never forget it. It was also the same day I met you. I remember it too, Molly. Like it was yesterday. Mommy, please! <laughs> Come back! I don't want to be in preschool! <laughs> They'll probably give me homework! <laughs> oh, sweetie, it's okay. You know, preschool can be really fun. You might meet some kids that you really, um, well, have fun playing toys with and stuff. Wow. And color and... No, I want to go home. I want my mommy. Oh, sweetie. The first day of preschool is always really rough. But trust me, you're going to love it. I don't think so. <laughs> I just want my mommy. Hi, I'm Brookie. <gasps> so? Well, what's your name? I've been at preschool for two months. So I know everything about preschool. Look, Molly, it looks like you're going to make a new friend. I don't want friends. I just want my mom. She'll come back for me any minute. Actually, once you're at preschool, you're kind of stuck here for the day. Well, unless you get like a fever or something. <coughs> but, but what about my mommy? Don't worry, she'll come back for you. They always come back. But you can have so much fun while you're waiting. We could be friends if you want. My name is Brookie, like I said. What's your name? <laughs> Molly. Well, hi, Molly. Uh, do you want to play with my favorite stuffed hippo? I don't know. I don't know if I really want to. Come on, he's so cute and cuddly. You can give him a hug. Here you go. Well, he is pretty cuddly. See? Whenever I was sad, on my first few days of preschool, I just hugged the happy hippo, and I felt a lot better. I hope it makes you feel better too, Molly. Yeah. Well, I think we might be able to be friends. I think so. You seem really nice. Okay, girls, why don't you go back there and play with some of the toys together since you're friends now? Okay, but I want to call my mom later. Molly, your mom will be back to pick you up soon enough. Now go play with your new friend, Brookie, okay? Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Who do we have here? Um, Molly, what's your name? Wow, you're really a lot taller than we are. Uh, Molly, um, can you come here a minute? Sure, Brookie, what is it? She's really mean. Her name is Sarah, and she bullies me a lot. Ow! Hey, I wasn't talking to you, done talking to you two. Get over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you better go before she bullies you more. Oh, man, I thought this preschool thing might actually be okay after I met you, Brookie. But now there's a bully here? Oh. Listen here, you little brat. You're going to do everything that I said. Why? Because I'm bigger than you. Yeah, so? I don't want to do what you say. Yes, you do. Give me that. Hey! Why'd you do that? I told you, Molly. She's a bully. I want my mom! <laughs> okay, Molly. It sounds like you might need a nap. No, I just want my mom. 
No, honey, come on. Into the crib, you definitely need a nap. You all do. This is my crib. Get out. Sarah, the teacher said we all have to sleep in this crib, so you have to let us. Yeah. Go away, you're being so mean. I don't like either one of you. You smell. Sarah, uh -oh. let's not be rude to the other kids in preschool. Lay down and take your nap, because then after that, we're going to have some yummy lunch. I don't take naps. Naps are for babies. Ugh, what's that smell? One of them had an accident while they were sleeping. Uh -oh. Gross, you're supposed to be potty trained by the time you go to preschool. Okay, kids, time to wake up. Come on, come on, time for lunch. Ooh, what is that horrible smell? Uh, Molly, um, if something smells really bad, I think you should wake up. Ugh, I'm dying over here. Get me out of this crib, it smells terrible. It, it wasn't me, I don't know what they're talking about, teacher. Molly, I think you had an accident. It's okay, it happens to all kids when they're little. Not to me, ugh, gross. Come on, Molly, let's go give you a diaper change. I don't need a diaper change. I'm a big kid. I don't want a diaper change. Please, Molly, it's burning my eyes. Go get a diaper change. I thought we were friends. We're not even friends. Molly, now come on, let's go. I didn't have an accident. Molly, it's okay. You don't have to lie about it. This happens, okay, sweetie? Now just go up there and lay down so I can change your diaper. What, I don't wear a diaper, lady. Okay, well then, I guess we need to look in your backpack to see if you have any extra clothes. Oh, how embarrassing. There you go, all clean. Listen, it's totally normal, especially when you're nervous on your first day of preschool. Well, to have an accident, okay? It's all right. Don't let it ruin your day, okay, Molly? Oh, I'll try not to. Now, where's your friend, Brookie? I bet you guys could have some lunch together. We're gonna go eat in the park. Uh, Molly, could I sit with you? Are we still friends? Sorry, Brookie. I was just really embarrassed about having an accident. Yeah, we could still be friends. I I'm sorry. It's okay, Molly. <laughs> um, apparently my mom thought I would be extra hungry today. Holy guacamole, she packed you a giant lunch. Yeah, I'll be right back. I have to go to the bathroom, and um, then we can have lunch together if you want. Sounds good to me. My mom packed me cheese, celery sticks, a bunch of stuff. We could share if you want. Um, I think I have enough lunch of my own. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll be right back. I have to go potty. Okay. I don't want this sandwich my mom packed me. It's so gross. I wonder what Brookie packed. Ooh, yum. <gasps> I'll just switch lunches with her. She'll never know. She's a loser. Uh oh! Over the weekend, my mom and dad and my sister and me, we went to Chuck E. Cheese. Wow, Molly, that sounds amazing. Maybe this weekend you'll do something else fun. Yeah, I'm waiting for my friend Brookie uh, to get back from the potty. Then we're going to eat lunch together. Oh, wow. Well, I'm so glad you're having a better day. I know it started off kind of rough, but I told you it would be really fun here, right? Yeah, I'm starting to really like it. Uh, thanks for being patient with me. <laughs> it's my job, but also I just love kids. Yeah, you're super cool. Hey, Sarah. Oh, hey. <laughs> I guess we have to all sit at the same table. Hey, <laughs> I'm back. Let's have lunch. Wow. Sounds delicious. I'm starving. Weird, my mom packed me a sandwich? <laughs> it was, seemed like there was so much more in that bag. Yeah, must have been a lot of hot air in there. Whoa, I, I don't feel so good. I, 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 uh... Rookie? R Rookie, what's going on? Rookie, say something. What's going on? Ah, teacher, 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 teacher. What? What is it, Molly? Do you want to play on the swings? No! Emergency! Emergency! 
The, 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 the Bricky, she just fell over it and now she's she's shaking on the ground. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to call 911 and quick. Did you see what she ate? No? Why? Because Brookie's very allergic to peanut butter. <gasps> 911, what's your emergency? Yes, I think one of my students at the preschool is having an allergic reaction to peanut butter. She's on the ground and shaking. We need some help right now. We'll be there in one second. Allergic to peanut butter? Whoopsie. Whoa, that was the fastest one second ever. Yeah, I'm so glad. I hope they can help my friend. Okay, okay, everybody, get back, please. Uh, looks like she's suffering from anaphylaxis. Okay, we're gonna need to give her a shot. A shot? That sounds terrible! What? No, the alternative is terrible. Please stand back. Okay, Molly, um, come over here with me. Yes, he did show up. Thank you, 911. Come on, Molly. Come on. Let's not watch. Let's go over here, honey. This could be a little bit traumatizing for you. <gasps> I have to watch! She's my best friend! No, Molly, let's just... Let the paramedic do what he needs to do to make Brookie feel better, okay? Huh. I hope you're right, teacher. I can't lose my best friend. I just made her as a best friend, and now she's she's gonna... Don't even say it, Molly. They'll know what to do, and everything will be fine. Okay, Brookie, can, can you talk? What, what happened to me? Brookie! 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 Oh my gosh, I felt so weird, and then I don't remember anything. Somebody gave you peanut butter. What? Peanut butter? I'm really allergic to peanut butter. The swelling should go down in a few minutes. I'll stay with you and make sure everything is okay. I know my mom wouldn't have packed me peanut butter. Hmm. Did anyone switch lunches with Brookie? I didn't. Wait. Where's Sarah? Oh, don't tell me she switched lunches with you. <sighs> okay, well, I'll have to bring this up with her parents. Are you feeling better, Brookie? Yeah, I think so. Brookie, I was so scared. I just made you as a best friend, and now something bad could happen to you? Nah, I'm okay, Molly, as long as I don't eat peanut butter. Yeah, I'll remember not to feed you peanut butter for the rest of my life. So I never want that scary thing to happen to you ever again. I love you. You're my best friend. Oh, Molly, something tells me that you and I are going to be BFFs for life. For life. For life. Wow, Molly, we've been friends for so long. I know, long enough to know I'd never feed you peanut butter. I wonder how my lunch got switched that day. Well, I have one guess. Yeah, I guess I'll never really know, though. Here, Brookie, here's some ice cream for you. Chocolate and vanilla. No peanut butter. Oh, thank you so much, Molly. You're the sweetest. No, this ice cream's the sweetest. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah, we may need to get another scoop later. Absolutely. Aww. There's Mom, Daisy, come on. Molly, I'm gonna sit up front. Nope, I always get to sit up front because I'm older. Molly, would you give your sister a turn every now and again? No, can't do it. No, can't do. Ay, ay, ay. Girls, how was your day at school? Oh, I'm so relieved. There's no homework tonight. I'm so excited. Yeah, for a change, we didn't get any homework. And believe it or not, I'm kind of glad about that because I feel like we've been getting so much homework lately. Wow, you must actually be getting a lot of work if you're saying that, Daisy. Yeah, I know. Think about how I'm doing. Not great if Daisy doesn't even like it. <laughs> All right, guys. We just got to pop in and pick up baby Kira from daycare. I'll be right back. Molly, let's ask Mom if we can have Bookie spend the night tonight. And, and, um, maybe we could have Rosie spend the night, too. Oh, yeah. Both of our BFFs. That'd be so amazing. We can order a pizza. We can play Truth or Dale, watch a movie. It's going to be a great night. Yeah, sleepover and no homework. Yes, please. I drive the car. Vroom, vroom. Baby Kara, get out of the driver's seat. Oh, my gosh. You can't drive. You're just a little baby. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I can drive, though, if I want to. No, Baby Kara, you're too little. 
So, Mom, um, Daisy and I were wondering, since we don't have homework tonight, you know, and um, we don't have school tomorrow because it's Friday, could we have our friends over? Please, 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 please. Sure, I don't see why not. Mom, where are we going? Well, if you want to have a sleepover, we need to go into the grocery store and get some snacks. Oh, you're the best mom ever. Can we also um, just order a pizza too? Sure, I don't see why not. Extra cheese? Okay, don't push your luck. Mom, come on, it's extra cheese. Everybody wants extra cheese. Ooh, Doritos! Ice cream, Mom, ice cream! Baby Kira, I thought you were gonna stay in the car. I like to go grocery shopping. I big kid now. I just get a bunch of, cause I have some Doritos. No, honey, you don't even have a bunch of a bunch of your teeth in yet. How are you gonna chew them? Cause I big girl, I can do it. No, baby Kira, no unhealthy snacks. You're still doing a lot of growing. You're just a toddler. Yeah, baby Kira, she doesn't let you eat. Mom, stop putting me in the car. I'm not the baby here. <laughs> well, quit getting in front of the car, and it won't happen. Duh. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> anyway, um, she never let me eat um unhealthy snacks either. Uh, when I was your age, baby Kira. I mean, once in a while I snuck them, but Molly. Well, I'm just telling you the truth. Sometimes I just wanted to have a candy bar. Ugh, self checkout. Ay ay ay. Mom, you don't like self checkout? I remember a day when someone actually worked at the grocery store to check out my groceries. Now everything in Roblox is automated. I used to like to talk about the weather with the person checking out the groceries. Okay, Mom, I'll just get the grocery bag. Don't go crazy or anything. Come on, baby Kira. I want to get in the, the passenger seat because I would the ride there. No, baby Kira, you're too little. I'm too little for everything. I'm sick of being too little. Mom, what are you doing? Oopsie, got in the wrong seat. <laughs> that happens to me so much in Roblox. Yeah, it's like you can't control you want, where you want to sit. It's kind of crazy, actually. So, Molly, what games are we playing tonight? I'm going to have a sleepover, too. Can I go? Um, no, honey. This is just for the big girls. No sleepover for you. You have to be in bed by 7. What? I don't want you to get in your I want to go to the fun sleepover. No, baby Kara, you'll just be annoying because you're little and, you know, that whole thing. Like, you annoy us because you, you like, talk too much. Molly, don't be rude to your baby sister. Well, it's true. We don't want to talk about, like, which pacifier is her favorite. I get the pink one as my favorite. Exactly my point. I have mixed snacks for the sleepover. Sorry, baby Kira. Uh, this is a big kid job. Yeah, why don't you go watch some Cocoa Melon? I'm too big for that. I want to watch it. I'm too little for everything. I'll show them. Da, 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 da. So anyway, Sarah said it's school today that I fought it and I wouldn't do that. Oh, Sarah is such a bully. Just try to ignore her, Daisy. I know, right? Why would she say that? Probably because she was the one who dealt it. And then she tried to blame it on you. Hey, I didn't eat any bean burritos today. Definitely wasn't me. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Jake. It's me, Kira. I am going to the daycare with you. Oh, yeah. Hi, Kira. Hi, could you ask your mommy if you could come to my very first sleepover? It's happening tonight. Yeah, hold on. I asked my mom. Mom! Whoa, that was really loud. She said I could come. Okay, great. I'll see you in one hour. Bye. Okay, so Jade is coming. Scribbling her name down here. I don't know how to spell it. So I'm just going to draw a picture of her. Okay, now I call Tyler. Hello? Hi, Tyler. It's Baby Killer. You want to come to the sleepover in my house? It's my first one. We're going to eat cupcakes, I promise. I asked my mom. Hold on. Mom! She said I could come. Yay! I'll see you here in one hour. Okay, Tyler can come. And I'm gonna call Olivia now. Hello? Hi, Olivia. Wanna come for sleepover in one hour? I'd love to. I'll see you then. Bye, Olivia. Perfect. Now I 
I just need to go and steal some snacks. Oh, look, they won't even know I'm here. <laughs> Molly, you're eating the snacks as quickly as Mom and I can bake them. Well, I guess maybe you should bake a little faster. Molly, those are the snacks for a sleepover. Yeah, Molly, the sleepover hasn't even started yet, and you're already mowing down on all the snacks. I can't help myself. Mmm, this is so good. These chocolate chip cookies are the best you've ever made, Mom. Oh, thank you, honey. But seriously, stop now before you eat them all and you get a stomach ache. Me? Never. I got a stomach ache that's as strong as a billy goat. <laughs> oh, really? I never heard you say meh. Oh, really? Watch this. Meh. <laughs> Perfect. I got all the snacks I need. <laughs> Because Jade, hi Jade, welcome to my first ever sleepover. <laughs> Whoa, look, you got lots of snacks. I'm so excited to be here and have all of you here too. Whoa, these hot dogs are really good. I'm really hungry. Let's jump on the bed. That would be so fun. Me, come on, guys. Me. I not know what time I'm supposed to. It's a sleepover. You can do whatever you want. Wee! Wee! I have to go potty. I'll be right back. Hi, too many hot dogs. I have to go potty. <laughs> be right back. Bye. You can pick suit title and then we have more sleepover fun. What is that racket? <gasps> what? Where did all these kids come from? Baby Kira, what's <laughs> I have a sleepover on my own with my friends from daycare. I had to get up on my first sleepover. Baby Kira, you didn't even ask me if you could have a sleepover. Yeah, I did. And you said no. You always say no. Mommy and Daisy get to do everything. I too little to do anything. I just feel so sad. Oh, sweetheart. I didn't know that that was so important to you. Can we stay, please? I want to stay at the deep over place. My mom's not coming back till tomorrow. Well, I guess since everyone's already here, and what? You took some of the snacks from your sisters? <laughs> I want to have a good deep over too. Oh, honey. Well, okay. Everyone can stay. Hey, yay! Wait, what? You get to have a boy at your sleepover? I don't get to have boys at my sleepover. <laughs> I like my sleepover better than yours. <laughs> ha ha, my sleepover's amazing. Oh, baby Kira, can I have a few of your snacks? No, get out. You already ate all your snacks, and it's my sleepover, and only for real kids. You're a big kid, so you're not allowed. Wow, I feel so left out. What game should we play? It's your sleepover. Why don't you tell us, baby Kira? I think we should play truth or dare. How do you play truth or fair? Dare? Is it fair or dare? Really? Have you been living under a rock? Deepest title. Are uh, you playing by basically duper or dare? Are uh, you playing by someone says truth or deal, baby dear yeah? And you have to decide if you want to tell the truth about that question or if you want to do a deal. Oh, whoa, that sounds crazy. So who goes first? She should go first. It's her sleepover. Okay, I want to ask, um, Jay, uh, truth or deal? Uh, truth. Is it true that you're not fully potty trained? What? That's not a nice question to ask. No, it could be any question. My big sister's playing this game, I know. I, I have to tell the truth? Yeah, you do. Are you not potty trained? I'm not totally potty trained. So embarrassed. Ooh. I'm not sure I like this game. Seems kind of crazy. Okay, get next. Truth or dare, Tyro? Um, I pick dare. I think you go all the way downstairs for more hot dogs, but the floor is lava. What? That sounds crazy. I know, it is crazy. That's why it's a dare. Whoa, it landed in the hot tub! Well, I 
What are you doing? The floor! It's lava! What? No, it's not. Well, that's because you're a grown-up. I'm not a grown-up. You are to me, which makes you boring. I'm not boring. Okay, the floor is lava. Oh, it's too hot, too hot. Oh, you fell in the lava, you little kid. You, you lose. <laughs> what? No, I didn't lose. You just, you didn't see me with my magic shoes that are lava proof. <laughs> the imagination of little kids is so amazing, but it doesn't really explain why I'm standing on the counter. I guess I just wanted to act like I was a little kid for just a minute. Yeah, right. You're a big kid, which makes you boring. <laughs>
I have to grab some pillows off of the bed. <gasps> Perfect. They'll never know. Honey, are you okay? I'm just not feeling well. I'm gonna lay in bed. Honey, are, are you feeling okay? Do you have the stomach bug? It's it's the morning. You're, you're supposed to be getting up now. I know, I just don't feel well. I feel like I did when I was pregnant with baby Kira. <gasps> Wait, what? What's that bump underneath the blankets? Honey, can you get out of bed for a minute? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Honey, why are you laying in bed? It's almost time for, for work. I, I, uh, I, 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 uh. <laughs> You're really struggling today, even more than me. Uh. Are you okay? Oh, he's planking. Um, yeah, uh, honey, you are taking a nap when you're not in bed. I think you might be, well, freaking out. Yeah, y y you look pregnant. Oh, well, maybe I should take a test. So, honey, what were the results? What happened? Well, I went into the bathroom and took a test and, well, yes, I'm pregnant. Oh, this is actually amazing news. I'm going to be a dad again. Ah! You sure are. Wait, what? <gasps> Another baby? I hope it's a boy this time. What are you girls eating for breakfast? Hot dogs. It's all dad could make. What? All you have to do is put the hot dog in the microwave. It's breakfast, okay? La, 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 la. Gonna be a dad. Oh, yeah. Gonna be a dad. Again. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be a dad. Wait a minute, diapers? So many diapers? I don't think about that. I'm gonna be a dad again. I'm gonna be a dad. Well, now that I'm pregnant, obviously I can't do all this work around here. Wait, what? <gasps> what? What? That's right. You guys are gonna have to do all the cooking, all the cleaning. I'm just gonna have to sit here and rest. But honey, what, but... No buts. Pregnant mom. Needs to rest. Gotta take good care of baby. Okay, we'll try our best to do everything around here, right, girls? Well, we'll try. Uh oh. Wow, this is a ton of work. I know. Tell me about it. Look at all these dishes. Mm hmm. Tell me about it. Honey, um, can I wash these white socks with this, uh, red shirt? No. Absolutely not. Didn't you ever learn how to do laundry? Not really. First my mom did my laundry, and then you! Well, and now's the perfect time to figure it out. Mom, I'm making the grocery list. Is there anything you would like? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'd like some chocolate ice cream. I would like some peanut butter cupcakes. Wow! I would like some chocolate chip cookies. Whoa, can't tell you're pregnant or anything. <laughs> Gonna put on about 100 pounds this time, huh? What? I will not! Oh, whoops, wrong thing to say. Gotta take the trash out, bye! Who locked the door? I gotta get out of here! My wife's gonna, she's gonna kill me! <laughs> Mom, um, so what else do you need for the groceries? Ah, uh, just those things. Surprise me with the rest. Wow, it's been like nine months since I faked my pregnancy. I guess I better stick some more pillows in there so it looks more accurate. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do just fine. Honey, I'm home from work. Where are you? Oh, I was just in here taking a nap, you know, resting for the baby. Whoa, there you are. Oh, my God. What's going on with your stomach? What do you mean? <laughs> you know I'm in my final trimester. Honey, I think you might be having twins or maybe an alien. That's a giant stomach. Oh, I just want to touch the babies inside your tummy. No, 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 no. No touching my tummy. <laughs> the babies won't like that. Babies? Do you know something that I don't? Yes, honey. I went to the doctor today. I'm having twins. Ah! Oh, my God. I know, honey. Don't freak out too much. Come on, let's go have dinner. Mm. This light bulb needs changing. I'm still doing dishes nine months later. Uh -oh. Everybody, you're eating off of paper plates from now on. Holy macaroni and cheese. Look at the baby bump. Oh, my God. Mom, you're going to have like five babies in there. 
Maybe they're puppies. <laughs> Daisy, mom can't have puppies. Well, that's what they look like when a mom and dog's gonna have like 15 babies. Okay, okay, quit teasing your mom about her big fat tummy. What? No, it's the old baby. It's all baby. Okay, let's have dinner, everybody. Uh, Dad, are you making us dinner? Yeah, Dad, are you making us dinner? Oh, no. Not again. Oh, I don't seem to fit between the chair and the, and the table. <laughs> My baby bump is squished. Be careful, honey. If you slam their heads up against the table, you might give them brain damage. You better sit on the couch. Okay. Here you go, honey. A nice, nutritious meal for the babies. I even put some cookies on there. Ooh, watermelon. My favorite. Man, these pillows in my shirt are so uncomfortable. Ugh, and I shouldn't have eaten so many Oreos for dessert. Ugh, my stomach really hurts. Well, honey, did, did you say your stomach really hurt? No, no, honey, go back to sleep. I'm fine. No, honey, I can't go back to sleep. It's been nine months and your stomach hurts. You know what this means. Come on, we have to go to the hospital. Oh, my God. I didn't think about this part where I'd have to go to the hospital and actually have the babies. What are you talking about? Of course you're going to have to have our twins. <laughs> That's why you've been sitting around for nine months. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh, sure. L let's go. Oh, I can't get up. The babies are too heavy. I'll just have to stay here. Honey, seriously, get out of bed. We have to go. Come on, honey, sit down in this wheelchair. I don't think I need that. I'm feeling fine. It was probably just a fart. <laughs> no, it's not a fart. The babies are coming. Come on, we have to get you inside. Ooh, I can barely move this wheelchair. You've put on a lot of weight with this pregnancy. What? No, no I haven't. Honey, look at your tummy. Of course you have. Get out of the way. Pregnant woman on board. Twin babies. Honey, I think that I'm just fine. Like, I uh, I don't think that I'm pregnant anymore. Honey, you're so pregnant you don't even fit into the elevator. I don't think so. What? But, no, I, I think it just might have all been gas. For nine months and your stomach looking like that? I don't think so. You're having these babies, whether you like it or not. Who's this kid? Are you an intern? No, I'm your doctor. Wow. Now, what seems to be the issue? What do you mean, what seems to be the issue? Can you not look at her stomach? She's about to have babies. Okay, miss, no jumping around. Where are you going? <gasps> I don't think I need to have babies anymore. She's lost her mind. The babies are made her crazy or something. <laughs> Honey, get in here. You have to go into the labor room. God, how am I going to get out of this now? I mean, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm not actually pregnant. What am I going to do? Okay, I'm just going to examine your tummy a little bit. Please hold still, Miss Acker. Oh, your stomach feels very funny. Let me give it a little push here. Oh, <laughs> a little pregnancy gas, I see. See? I, I don't need to have babies. I just had to fart. That's all. Honey, quit being so ridiculous. You're going to have twins. It's going to be okay. You've had, you've had, you know, other kids. You're going to be fine. Hmm. Your tummy seems very peculiar. Um, Mr. Acker, would you go get some coffee, please? It's going to be a pretty long night, I think. Are you going to be okay, honey? Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> the doctor will take good care of me. Okay. Now that he's gone, spill. Ow! I can see that there's just pillows stuffed up your shirt. Well, um, um, let me guess. He overworks you at home and your kids don't help or pitch in. Yeah? How did you know? I see this with women at least three times a week. <laughs> now, I'm just going to tell your husband that it was a giant gas bubble that's been trapped in your stomach for nine months. <laughs> don't worry. We'll just emphasize that he doesn't have to change any dirty diapers. Oh, thank you. You're the best doctor ever. Honey, did you have the baby while I was out getting coffee? You weren't supposed to do that. Where is the baby? Um, Mr. Acker, we need to have a conversation. Oh. Oh, what? Did, wait, why is that cat in here? Did you give birth to a cat? What? Honey, have you lost your mind? Of course I didn't give birth to a cat. 
It's an angry cat. Kind of glad it's not our kid. Mr. Ackery, your wife had a serious case of gas bubble. <gasps> Wait, what? Where, where's my twin babies? There are no twin babies, honey. I just really had to fart. Wait, what? But, 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 cute little names. I picked them all. Well, Mr. Acker, just think about it. No dirty diapers, no added expenses. This is going to save you so much time and money that it was just a fart. Honey, that was a big fart. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you could have just taken some gas X at any point in the nine months. Mr. Acker, I think your wife mm, probably got intense bouts of gas because she was forced to do all the work at home. That would give anybody indigestion. Uh oh! Oh, I, I didn't think about it like that. Uh, I'm sorry, honey. That's okay. You can make it up to me by getting me some flowers, getting me some DoorDash, and starting to help more around the house. Don't worry, honey. I will. But do you still want to have twins? Um, we'll think about it. Thanks, doctor. You're a real lifesaver. What did Luke say after you told him that? Oh, he didn't really say anything. He kind of just ran out of the room. Oh my gosh. Daisy, why are you on my bed? Um, Brookie, I gotta go. My sister's being annoying. What? I am not, Molly. Okay, Molly, well, try not to fight too much. I love you both. You're both my best friends, and I want you guys to get along. You don't have sisters. You don't know what it's like. Daisy, why are you on my bed? Um, because, Molly, um, I accidentally spilled water on my sheets, and my bed is wet. I don't care. This is my bed. Get off of it. It's my property. Molly, I'm studying for my science test, and it's very important. Besides that, Dad's downstairs running the vacuum. I can't study down there, and I can't sit on a wet mattress. Ugh. Why do I have to share a room with my sister? That's it. I've had it. Mom! 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 What is it now, Molly? Oh, my gosh. I'm washing these dishes. Mom, I want my own room. No, I need my own room. Well, Molly, there's only one bedroom for you and Daisy. One for baby Kira, which you don't want a room with her because she's up half the night crying and needing a diaper and a bottle and... Ah! Why can't I have my own room? I'm the oldest. You get your own room. No, correction. I have to share it with your dad and he snores and talks in his sleep. Sometimes he even farts in his sleep. Ew, gross. Look, Molly... This is the house that your father and I can afford. Yeah, and it's great, isn't it? Even as an elevator. I never thought I'd live this amazingly. Oh, man, this house is great. Well, it doesn't seem that great to me. Why don't we buy one that has a, my own room and Daisy has her own room? Molly, you obviously don't remember what our first house was like. Yeah, Dan, she was too little. <laughs> but I remember that house like it was yesterday. Baby shark doo 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 Baby shark doo 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 Molly, be quiet. I can't hear Coco mowing. No, I want to sing it. Baby shark doo 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 You're super annoying, Molly. Oh, you're super annoying. Okay, girls, that's enough fighting. Come on in the kitchen. Your mom and I are making something delicious for dinner. I kind of hungry. Me too. I'm kind of hungry too. What are we having? Oh, look, girls. It's taco night. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you excited, Molly? What's wrong, Molly? Why the sour face, honey? Oh, I don't want to eat any tacos. What? Why not, honey? You love taco night. It's so much fun. You get to make your own taco, and it tastes so delicious it goes into your tummy. I don't want to put anything in my tummy. Oh, do you have a tummy ache? Yeah, I have a really bad tummy ache all of a sudden. I think I think I need to go sit back down and watch Baby Shark. Oh, I think she just wants to watch Baby Shark instead of eat dinner. Um, Dan, you obviously don't know our daughter. <laughs> Her want to watch anything over eating tacos? I don't think so. She loves tacos. I really don't think she has any desire to eat dinner. She just acts like she doesn't feel good. Oh, my tummy really hurts. Oh, honey, I'm gonna go get you some medicine, okay? And you can drink some Pepto-Bismol. Maybe it'll make your tummy feel better. I don't wanna take medicine. I don't like medicine! 
Okay, honey, here's some Pepto-Bismol. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. Molly, come on. Be brave. Take deep breath. You can do this. Come on, Molly. You can take the medicine. It's okay. <laughs> I don't want it. I'm afraid. It's going to taste yucky. I'll give you a um, prize. Do we actually have a prize? Oh, no. I'll have to look around and see if I have a toy or something that we forgot to give her for her birthday. <laughs> Just take the medicine, honey. Your tummy really hurts. Ew, it tastes gross. I know it tastes gross. Hey, look it. Look what I've got. I took my medicine so I get that cute little monkey, right? That's right, sweetheart. Oh, Here you go, honey. You can have the monkey. Thank you, Daddy. It's really cute. Oh, no. With the monkey, my tummy doesn't feel so good. Uh-oh, honey. Do you need the pukey bucket? I need Mr. Bucket! I need Mr. Bucket! I need Mr. Bucket! Uh-oh, he can't throw up. Oh, boy. Looks like somebody might have the stomach bug. Oh, no. If she's got the stomach bug, it means we're all going to get the stomach bug. Not me. I'm not going to get it. Oh, my God. My tongue queen. Oh, man. She must have a fever. She's got it really bad. Well, I just gave her the medicine, so hopefully some of it stayed down there before she threw up. Don't worry, Molly. pepto -Bismol always makes me want to throw up, too. It tastes terrible. I don't feel so good. I ain't got to throw up my taco. Ew, gross. That's so disgusting. Ugh, man. Can't even move off the couch right now. Tommy hurts so bad. Oh my gosh, they both have the stomach bug, Laura. We're doomed! What are you wearing? I'm getting my hazmat suit and uh, my face mask and uh, um, uh, I need to get some hand sanitizer. Oh honey, I think we're probably gonna get the stomach bug too. You know how that germs happen. The stomach bug is relentless. And we only have one bathroom! Ah! Wow, Mavi, I never thought we'd be so sick that we'd match the couch. I know, we're so sick we turn green. Oh, I have to try to make it to the toilet. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't make it. Oh, I gotta change my clothes again. I hope you hurry up in there, Dan. I, I need to throw up. I need to use the bathroom. I gotta go potty. Me too. Why do we have a house that only has one bathroom? <laughs> oh no! Oh! My turn. I have to go potty next. I'm not gonna wait either. I have to go so bad. Wait, where's the potty? There it is. I forgot for a minute. It's because I'm so weak from having the stomach bug. Oh! I just, I just throw up in the shower. I guess you know, cause. <laughs> Girls, can you hurry up? I need to use the potty again. I'm not done in here. <coughs> oh, man. I think I'm going to throw up in the sink. Oh. <coughs> Are you girls almost done? I have to go to the bathroom. <coughs> no, never mind. Too late. And that's why we saved up to buy a bigger house. We needed more than one bathroom. Holy guacamole, that sounds awful. Yeah, this house was really expensive. Brookhaven is, well, very expensive to live in, and so we did the best we could. But rest assured, if you ever have to go potty because you have the stomach bug, there's more than one bathroom. <laughs> yeah, too bad there's not more than one bedroom for me and Daisy. But I'm thankful and grateful that you guys bought us such a nice house to live in. I guess I am pretty lucky. Aw, thanks for saying that, Molly. Well, I better get started on dinner. Dinner? What are we having? Are we having tacos? I never want to look at another taco again after that day. Me either. I love tacos. I know, but your father and I can only have tacos like once a month. Every time we think about them, it's like, oh, I'm reliving that throwing up thing all over again. Anyway, we're having nice, healthy, delicious salads. Oh, salad. No, honey, what's wrong? Are, are you getting the stomach bug again? No, I just can't stand the thought of another salad. Oh, oh I'm with Molly. I'm having a hot dog. See, dad's eating a hot dog while well, I gotta eat salad. I don't wanna eat salad. Dan, we're setting a good example for the girls. Stop eating the hot dog. You're not the boss of 
me! I can eat a hot dog if I want to! Unless you can catch me! Oh, wow. So grown up of him, huh? Yeah, well, you just can't make your father eat healthy. You just can't. <laughs>
Well, I accidentally thought it was the chicken too. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. That's a very confusing question. What do you call this sport? Soccer or football? Um, well, uh, we live in America, so we call it soccer. Yeah, but in other countries, they call it football. Wait, what? But, but... Okay, the phone's ringing. I'm gonna go answer it. Hello? Hello? What evil thing's gonna kill me now? What? I, <laughs> the phone made me blow up? <laughs> Seriously? That was ridiculous. Best type of bacon. Chewy or crispy? Mm. Crispy, I'm with dad. Ew, chewy bacon. Gross. Yay! I finally didn't die! Uh, I think Daisy did, though. No, I didn't. I'm right here. It's just, look at those, like, triplets, and they're all the same. OMG! They're like clones of each other. Okay, that's very creepy. No, go away! You're creeping me out! You're creeping me out! All right, happy Roblox family. Let's go this way. Oh, Mom's already there. Which would you rather be, the smartest in the world or the richest in the world? Um, eh, uh, Dad picked the richest. <laughs> Dad and I are very similar. So that's what I picked, too. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Apparently, if you're the smartest, you can also be the richest, so. Oh, God, here goes Piggy. Oh, P-I-G-G-Y. Yeah. Piggy just killed me. Dad, we're ignoramuses. What? I thought it would be great to be the richest in the world. Yeah, but if you're dumb, you're going to lose all your money. That's why being the smartest is the best, because then you can be smart enough to make all the money in the world or something like that. Yeah, that makes sense. That's exactly how I'm going to be. The smartest in the world and the richest. Oh, more tar. Oh, my God. Be careful. Oh, that girl slid all the way down and then died. Mom, how are you getting ahead of us all the time? Because, Molly, I'm amazing at Roblox. You guys should check out my channel. Mom, this is your channel. Yeah, but you should check out all the videos on my channel. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mom. They they are going to watch all your videos because you're amazing at Roblox. Aww. Oh, thanks, Molly. What does she want? I bet she wants to get ice cream after this. Dizzy, shh. Mom, you are also so beautiful. Like the most beautiful woman in the world. You're not old at all. Molly, what do you want? Ice cream! Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we have some in the freezer. Can we have it? Huh, huh, huh. If we don't get done at midnight, yeah, sure. Taco Bell or Chipotle? Uh, Taco Bell, yum. I like their nachos, like, so much. Their, their beef nachos are so good. With extra sour cream and cheese. Molly, I thought you would like the bean burritos. Oh, uh, yeah, that's just a given. None of us like when you have the bean burritos because then you fart a lot. You mean like this? <laughs> Ew, Molly. <laughs> you guys might want to stay back there. Molly just blew up the world <laughs> with a stink cloud. <laughs> Pancakes or waffles? Ooh, this is a hard one, but I picked the waffles. I'm going to pick pancakes. Uh, I'm picking pancakes too. I'm waiting to see which one of you died. Okay, because I love them both equally. And Daisy died. See you later, Daisy. We're leaving you behind. What? Molly, no. We have to stay together. Remember, we're family. Uh, we're all lined up. Mom and Dad are like lined up perfectly. Okay, I'm getting in line. Uh, what are we lining up for? <laughs> that looks so weird. Oh, other people are escaping. I want to escape too. Let me out of here! Oh, whoa, and Abby, Dad, you got this. Maybe not, maybe not. I'm t I did just fine! Which would you be- which would be better? Raining marshmallows or raining Skittles? Oh, um, I'm gonna go, um, Skittles. Even though I absolutely love S'mores. They didn't say raining s'mores. They just said raining marshmallows, so. Dad, I think you're actually doing really good in this game. Yeah, honey, you really are. <laughs> Looks like you're wearing mom's hair right now, Dad. It's so weird. <laughs> and again, Daisy's the last to come down the tube. Sorry, I 
keep choosing the wrong things. This is a lot harder than any other game because I don't think like other people. I'm not an ignoramus. <laughs> what? We're not ignoramuses. Yay, boy. I'm so smart. I always think outside the box. Daisy, can you hurry up and come down the slide already? It's taking forever. I'll wait for her, Molly. You can go along with Dad. I was already ahead of you, Jeepers. How did you get by me? I didn't even see that. That was so weird. Ooh, lasers, Daisy. Yes, I didn't die. That was impressive, I think. Which would be worse? Wearing wet jeans all day or wearing a wet sweater? Ugh. Both sound terrible. I'm going to go with jeans because I just take the sweater off and leave my t-shirt on. What? The sweater is worse than the jeans? Ugh. Wearing wet clothes all day is just bad. Oh, God, guys. It's Siren Head. Where can I hide to get away from him? Nowhere. Nowhere. He just, like, lasered me from outside the, the elevator. You put your mind to it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can do it. All right, guys. Um, well, wet jeans was like a close second. Ugh, both of them sound pretty miserable to me. I know, right? I'm like going to the school nurse like, can I please go home? My clothes are soaking wet. Which would you rather first, the good news or the bad news? I'm with dad, the bad news, because then the good news can cheer me up after I hear the bad news. What? Oh, really? You guys want the good news first? No, 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 no. Wait, what's this local back room? It will see oh, God. This creepy, weird, strict dad is at his desk. Ooh, can I eat your Doritos? Oh, oh, his head just turned around backwards and he just blew me up. Uh, I guess he doesn't want me to eat the Doritos. Dad, you chose the wrong thing. What are you blaming me? You chose for yourself. Dad, you screwed this one up. Um, okay, but still, you chose for yourself. Okay, everybody, I think we all chose the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, we all wanted to hear the bad news. Whoa, look at this, Abby. Don't fall to your death, Molly. We all know you're not that great at Abby's. What are you talking about? I'm doing great right now, Daisy. I just beat you to the other side. Ha ha ha. And which is more fun? A water slide times a thousand. Yeah, I win, I win, I win, I win, I win. Yeah, a water slide is so much more fun. I mean, I like a roller coaster too, but... I don't think mom and dad like either one of them. They would probably both barf on both of those rides. Yeah, you're probably right, which is why it's taking them so long to come down the slide right now. One eternity later. Where are my parents? Seriously, Daisy. <laughs> Finally, dad. I was wondering what took you so long. I couldn't decide, and then I picked the wrong one. Exit here. Yay! We made it! I'll see you guys uh, down in the kitchen for some ice cream. Sounds good to me. Mm. I'm going to have um, chocolate ice cream, and then I'm going to um, put peanut butter sauce on the top. It's going to be so good. Daisy, are you coming? Yeah, I'm just waiting for Mom. I felt kind of sorry for her. What? You felt sorry for me? Why? I did good in this game. Uh-huh. Sure you did, Mom. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching us play this silly game together. Uh, we had a lot of fun, but now we're going to go get, get like ice cream from the um, freezer in our kitchen. It's going to be super delicious. Mm. I hope you're having a delicious snack, too. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys! my fault yes it was i can't believe this oh no here we go again you ate all the apple and the pumpkin pie didn't you um well uh i really wanted to have a piece of pie today i hardly got any well honey thanksgiving was three weeks ago i mean oh, come on <laughs> did you expect the pie to last that long I thought you'd at least save me a piece. It's so like you to gobble up all the pie and not leave me even one bite. Sorry, I just thought it would go bad in the pan and the refrigerator and the... Ugh, you're so frustrating. Take that, evil granny. <laughs> I love this Roblox game. Molly, I, I can't believe it. Daisy, what's wrong? Don't, don't cry, it's okay. What's wrong? Molly... Mom and Dad are fighting 
thing again every single day this week. What? No, they're just having a rough time. That's all. You know, mom lost her job last week and, and it's almost Christmas. It's just a lot of stress. Molly, I don't know. Things seem different this time and I'm worried and I'm scared. Daisy, I'm telling you, everything's going to be okay. Let me go see what they're talking about. Well, well, I just thought, you know, since you're home all day, you can take good care of my mom. You have no idea what it's like to be with your mom all day. Ugh, it's horrible. Damn, what's for lunch? I'm starving. Um, Ethel, I'm not making lunch today. I, I have to um do some job hunting. You could look in the refrigerator, though. There's some leftovers. What? You didn't make me anything to eat? What kind of house is this? Um, Ethel, I'm, I'm sorry. Um... I just, I can't today. But but you can make your own lunch. Whatever. I gotta use the potty. Okay, well, bye. Ugh, I don't like staying here. Not one bit. <laughs> Ethel, are you done in the bathroom? Okay, well, I've gotta use it. Ew, what's that smell? Sorry about that, honey. I plugged up the toilet. Ew, doo-doos, yeah. Whoa, ew, gross! Well, you think that's bad? You should be me. I have to go to work every day and chase down speeders, criminals. Being a cop is really hard work. Even harder than having to plunge the toilet. You think there's anything worse than plunging the toilet after your mother has used it? I don't think so. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Guys, why are you fighting? Molly, just go upstairs and, um... You know, do your homework or play or something. Your mom and I are having a conversation between grown-ups. Yeah, Molly, go upstairs, please. Fine. Daisy, you were right. They are fighting all the time. They seem totally miserable. <laughs> I'm so sad. They don't love each other anymore. Daisy, I'm sure that's not true. They're probably just stressed out. And we need to help them. Let me think. What can I do? What can I do? Aha! I've got it! Got what, Molly? The divorce papers? Our parents are done so. No, Daisy. We're going to take all of the money we've saved and send Mom and Dad on a beautiful vacation. Say what? Are you crazy, Molly? Nope. We're going to call Grandma. She's going to come stay with us. And we're going to send Mom and Dad away to a cozy little romantic getaway. That'll make them remember why they love each other so much. I hope so, Molly. I hope so. Well, you used my toothbrush one time in, in 2005. Well, you borrowed my socks in 2006. Holy guacamole, you guys are still arguing? Grown-ups are so ridiculous sometimes. Molly, I told you to go to your room. Yeah, that was two hours ago, people. Come on, we have something important to tell you. What? What is it? You two are going on vacation. What? What? vacation what are you talking about yep here's the tickets i printed them out go pack a bag what are you talking about molly seriously you guys are arguing all the time you need a little trip away well, who's gonna watch you kids don't worry we called grandma she's coming um but 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 what about ethel um grandma and me and daisy and baby kira will take good care of our other grandma while you're gone Oh my gosh, I can't believe you guys did this for us. Well, I mean, we can't refuse a vacation, right? Yeah, I guess not. Let's go back. Man, we're taking the monster truck? Well, yeah, <laughs> we're going to be staying in the mountains, right? Yeah, that's the perfect vehicle, right, Mom? Yeah, I guess. It's just really loud. Well, sorry, I mean, it's just a monster truck. It sounds like a monster. Well, it's not even big enough for my legs. Look, they hang out the bottom. Whoa, complain much? Whatever! If you don't want a naggy wife, then maybe... Whoa, 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 whoa! Enough of the arguing, Mom and Dad. This is your getaway. Enjoy it! Yeah, I guess she has a point, right, Dan? Totally. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Bye! Have a great trip! Bye, Mom! Bye, Dad! Daisy, do you think the Airbnb we booked for Mom and Dad will be nice enough? Well, we only had $46. But I'm sure it'll be perfect. The pictures made it look pretty nice. 
Yeah, you're right. We shouldn't worry. We're here, honey. We're here. This cannot be it. This is a shack. Is there even running water in there? Um, I think it looks pretty cozy. Cozy? It looks like a bear has been taking up residence in there. Probably not a bear, but maybe some mice or rats. Oh my gosh. I knew this was a bad idea. Now come on, Laura. Let's make the best of it. Oh, where is all the furniture? Where are we going to sleep? And what's that smell? Oh, um... Ew, this house smells awful. No, no, that was me. <laughs> I farted. Ew, Dan. <laughs> well, I was trying to make it my own by adding a lovely Dan perfume. Ugh, yuck. Uh, this looks pretty good to sleep on. I mean, except for the fact that it has no walls. Oh my gosh. This sort of reminds me of our very first house. Yeah, remember the porch was falling off. Uh, and the kitchen was outside the bedroom on the second floor. And alongside the kitchen was the toilet. Yeah, it was the weirdest house ever. Oh, yeah. And remember the first night we stayed there after we got married? And the, and the, and the, and the window wasn't made of glass. It was just made of plastic. And when the wind blew, <laughs> it was freezing in there. Oh, I had forgotten about that, Dan. We thought they were made of real windows, like real glass, but no. It was just, you know, plastic wrap. Yeah, we had to cuddle to be warm. Aw, those were hard times, but they still had a lot of happy moments. Just like now, Laura. There's a lot of hard times with you losing your job and my mom having to move in while she's recuperating. Ugh, and plugging up the toilet. I would go back to the plastic windows any day. Well, maybe I could help you out more with mom when I got home from work. And maybe I could nag you a little less about eating all the pumpkin pie. You know, Laura, I love you. I love you too, Dan. I'm sorry we've been arguing so much this week. Me too. Now, let's set up our sleeping bags so we're ready for tonight. Yeah, since there's no furniture. I set up our sleeping bag. Where's mine? Oh, we're gonna cuddle. But move yours closer to mine, okay? Okay, I'd love to cuddle with you. I packed a picnic, are you hungry? I'm starving. Maybe Molly was right. Maybe we did just need to get away for a little bit from all the stress to realize what we have back home. Come on, let's call Molly, Daisy, and baby Kira and tell them that we love them. Good idea. First, I really wanna eat this sandwich. Mmm, this is delicious. Hello? Mom? Dad? Hey, Molly. Hey, Molly. Is your sister there? I'm here, and so is it, baby Kiwa. Say hi, baby Kiwa. Don't tell us you're calling us to tell us you're getting a divorce. No, just the opposite. We're calling to say we're sorry that we fight so much this last week, but we wanted you to know that we've got our heads on straight and we love each other and we love you guys and things are going to get a lot better when we get home. We're sorry that we let stress get in the way. Mm-hmm. Um, what is dad eating? A sandwich. Is the Airbnb really, really nice? Um, yeah. It's beautiful. I can't believe you guys spent all of your money that you saved on this for us. Well, we love you guys and have so much fun in that beautiful mansion you're staying in. Thanks, Daisy. We love you guys, too. Bye. Oh, I really want to text him. I don't know. Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Oh, what if he thinks I'm a dork? What if he doesn't answer? What if he says, leave me alone? You're a loser. Uh-oh. Well, my mom always says, if I don't try, I'll never know. So here goes nothing. What should I say? Hey, Dan. No, that seems so lame. Like, like, like I'm desperate to talk to him. How about just like, hey. And then what do I want to say? I want to say, will you go to the dance with me? But um, I'm just too afraid to ask it that way. So um, I guess I'm just going to say, what's up? Did you understand the math homework? Yeah, 
that seems like totally random. So uh, it's not like I'm saying like, hey, let's go to the dance together or anything. I'm just asking about math homework. Yeah. Oh, I'm such a dork. Oh my God, dot, dot, dot. He's writing back. Who is this? Oh, I thought he knew who it would be. Um, it's Laura? Oh boy. He probably doesn't even know who I am. <gasps> dot, dot, dot! He knows who I am. Okay, I think. Or maybe he's gonna be like, leave me alone. Or I'm freaking out about this texting with Dan right now. I have such a huge crush on him. He's so cute. Oh, this is taking forever. What is his reply gonna be? Oh! Laura? Oh, yeah, that rainbow-haired chick from math? Sup? Oh, that's a pretty good response. Um, whoa, look at this guy. <laughs> Grumpy cat. Grumpy cat is perfect. The math homework was so insane. <laughs> At least we're talking. That's a good sign, right? Totally. Anyway? So, yeah. He's not that great at typing. Who cares? I'm so in love. Aww. My partner is ready. See you in class later. So I think by this text, it means he's totally going to ask me to the dance. I'm only ever going to sleep tonight. Tomorrow's going to be such a big day. I can just dream about it now. morning already? <sighs> well, today is going to be the one of the best days of my life because Dan's going to ask me to the school dance. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be an amazing day. I'm going to like look so beautiful. I, I just have to like look so great because I'm going <gasps> to... notice. I mean, I'm a teenager. We get pimples, right? Oh my god. Who am I kidding? Everybody's gonna notice. Oh, well, I guess there's no choice but to go to school. And I'll just try to put some makeup on. Yeah, that should cover these pimples. <laughs> I have some really great makeup from Sephora and I just, I just, I, I just gotta use it on these pimples and everything will be okay. Just put a little here and put a little here, put a little here. Later at school. Why can I not get a signal in this school? It's so annoying. Don't they know I need to put up a snap right now? Come on. <laughs> that TikTok is hilarious. <laughs> oh, hey, Dan. Do you have a signal right now? Yeah, I've been watching TikTok videos. These ones are hilarious. Want to see? No, not really. But um, hey, you going to the dance this Friday? Um, yeah, I think so. I was thinking about this one girl I was going to ask. Well, um, if you're going to ask, you better hurry up. She probably will have five other guys asking her in the next ten minutes. Whoa, you think so? Yeah, she's really popular. Oh, I didn't think she was that popular. What? Yes, she's that popular. Who are we even talking about right now? Oh, uh, sorry, Bunny, but I got to get going. <laughs> it's time for class. Yeah, okay. See you later, Dan. Bye! Hey, Bunny. I brought you your favorite from Starbucks like I always do. Ah, oh, you forgot to put the extra shot of hazelnut in it, Tiffany. God, can you do anything right? What? Bunny, I even paid for this myself. Do you think it's so rude? Oh, I should totally, totally post about this online. What? You better not! Or, or I'm gonna tell everybody your secret about how you farted at the sleepover. <laughs> You wouldn't dare. I would. Okay, Laura, don't panic. It's just a couple little pimples. No one's going to even notice. <laughs> no one. Oh, M, G. Look who it is. It's Laura. And, oh, what happened to your face? It looks like someone cooked a pizza on it. Um, uh, it's just a couple of pimples. I don't know why it happened. I woke up like this. <laughs> um, can you say loser? 
Ugh, those are gross. Tiffany, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, Laura. Nothing at all. <laughs> well, we better get to class, Bunny. <laughs> we don't want to have to miss our cheerleading competition. And the t teacher said if we missed another day, uh, we couldn't go. Well, see you later, pizza face. Uh, yeah, bye. Oh, no. Hopefully Dan just doesn't notice. I mean, there's not that many pimples, right? Oh, look. I got a new snap. What? What is this? Ugly? Ugh, I can't believe I have to be at school today. This is like the worst day to be here. Why couldn't this happen on a Saturday? Oh, my phone's buzzing. What? Gross? How, how could you put this for everyone to see? Oh my god! I can't show my face in this school ever again! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Tiffany? That was so rude. <laughs> Whatever, Dan. I was just stating the truth. Yeah, Dan. She is a pizza face. Gross. You guys are the meanest ever. What? What did you say to me? I thought you were going to ask me to the dance. Not a chance, Bunny. You're ugly on the inside. And that's a lot worse than having a couple of pimples. I can't believe you said that to me! Oh, you are so rude! <laughs> you wouldn't know the first thing about being nice or rude. Both of you are totally rude! Anyway, I gotta go find Laura. You guys are bullies. Where's Laura? I've looked everywhere for her. <laughs> well, I hear her crying. Well, unless that's the school ghost. That person's creepy. I think that Laura's voice is coming from the janitor's room. I saw once, I think on like TikTok, that you could put just like a tiny bit of bleach on your pimple and then it would burn your face horribly. What am I thinking? Laura, are you in there? Oh, don't look at me. I'm so gross. I have a pizza face. Laura, I don't think you're gross at all. Really? But, but, but... Don't listen to those girls. They're just mean and rude and evil. And I think they're jealous of you because you're so cool. Really? You think that they're just mean and jealous? Yeah. I think you're super cool. And I'm sorry you cried. That made me feel really sad. Aww. Aww. Thanks, Dan. So I was wondering, do you want to go to the school dance with me? Wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, it's not very romantic to ask you to go in the janitor's room, but, you know, smells a little bit like, well, an old moldy mop in here, but, you know, this is where you were, so. It's okay. I don't mind that you asked me in the janitor's office. I mean, this is my office. Uh, no, I don't think that the title's that official, that he gets his own office or anything. Yeah, true. So, um... So I'll pick you up about 8 o'clock? Sounds great. This is a see you then. Bye, Laura. Bye. Whoa. Amazing. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Little Miss Pizza Face. You can't keep me down, Bunny. I'm going to the school dance with Dan. And he didn't mind if I had a couple of pimples. He thought it was amazing anyway. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He told me that he just feels sorry for you. No one else would ever ask you to the dance. <gasps> Wait. What? Yeah, it's true. He's just feeling like you're a total charity case, so he invited you to the dance. Oh, I can't believe it. The worst day turned into the best day turned into an even worse day. Well, sorry I had to be the bearer of bad news, Laura, but I am a truth teller, so, you know, have fun with your pizza face. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. I know what I could do. If I don't have pizza face and I show up at the school dance, then he'll have to think that I'm the most beautiful girl in the world. Yeah, watch me transform to uh, from ugly to model. Hopefully this salon can help me look like a model. That way Dan will think that I'm the prettiest girl and the most amazing girl at the dance. They got really good reviews, so here goes nothing. Oh, hi, how can I help you today? Isn't it obvious? Look at my face. What? What's wrong with your face, honey? It's ugly. What? Your face isn't ugly. Who told you that? Please tell me that you're not saying that to yourself. That's not very nice self-talk. 
well, it's true. These mean girls at school told me that I was ugly. Pizza face, even. Pfft. Well, obviously, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> the only person I see in front of me is someone that is totally beautiful, gorgeous, model-like, all on her own. What? Are you crazy? Do you need glasses? <laughs> I have pimples all over. So? Pimples don't make you pretty or ugly. You seem like a pretty nice person to me, too. I'd be happy to do your makeup for the dance, but I'm not going to make you into a supermodel. Girl, you already are. But can you cover up these pimples? Sure I can. Those are so easy to cover. They taught us all about it at beauty school. Come on, come sit in my chair. Okay. Oops, I'm not supposed to be sitting down. For some reason, I thought it was break time. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, let's see what we can do about those, well, little beauty spots. They're not beauty spots. They're pimples. Yeah, but everybody gets them when they're a teenager. It's totally fine. Now, let's just put a little makeup here, a little makeup here, a little makeup here. Voila, Cinderella, you're ready for the ball. You covered them up perfectly. Thank you, Megan. Yes, you're welcome. But remember, you're beautiful no matter what, supermodel. Don't listen to those mean girls. They don't deserve your attention. Don't let them get in your head, okay? Thank you so much. You're the best salon in the whole world. Well, maybe not in the whole world, but at least in Roblox. Oh my gosh, I feel so cute right now. <laughs> this is so adorable. I'm gonna give myself like a little dog face. <laughs> I'm gonna have the best night in my life. Hey, Laura, what you doing? Oh, hey, Dan. I thought I was gonna pick you up from your house. Oh, um, yeah, I just got done at the salon and stuff, so I guess we could just walk to the dance together. Wow, you look amazing. Oh, thank you. You look really handsome. Thanks. I hope we have fun at the dance together. I'm sure that we will. I'm sorry those girls were so mean to you earlier. I, I... I hope that you didn't just ask me to this dance because, well, you didn't want me to go alone and you felt sorry for me. Wait, what? Who told you that? I've liked you for like two months now. Really? Yeah, I didn't know if you liked me back, so I didn't say anything. But then when you sent me that text, like out of nowhere, I was like, wait, I think she might actually like me. <laughs> You're right. I do like you. I first noticed you in math class. You were really funny. Aw, thanks. Come on, let's go to the dance. Sounds good. Well, I see that Bunny brought her daddy's Bentley to the to the party. Yeah, of course she did. She's spoiled rotten. She totally is. Wow, this dance is going to be so amazing. Well, look who it is. It's pizza face. Except for my face isn't pizza. It's perfect. Well, not perfect, but pretty close to it. I look amazing. And nothing you say to me is going to make me feel bad about myself ever again, Bunny and Tiffany. You guys are just rude bullies. And besides, I have the cutest boy here ever as my date. So, who are the losers now? Well, he was going to ask me, but he felt sorry for you. <gasps> Whatever. I'm not even going to talk to them. Come on, Dan. Let's dance. Oh, I love this song. Whoa, what is he doing? Well, are you gonna dance or not? I mean, I know my dancing's a little weird, but I think you should dance with me. <laughs> are you laughing at my dancing? No, I'm laughing at the fact that you think that you're a better dancer than me. Obviously not! Look at me! I'm the world's best dancer! I'm having the time of my life, Dan! I am too! Hey, do you want to be my girlfriend? Wait, what? Seriously? Yeah. Sure I do! Hey, Bunny! Hey, Tiffany! You want to put out a Snapchat of Dan asking me to be his girlfriend while I do this crazy <gasps> awesome dance? Oh, get away from us. No problem. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Oh, hi, honey. How was your day? 
Judging by the smile on your face, I bet it was a great one. Yeah, I had a great day at work. They told us today that we get an extra week's vacation. I'm thinking Fiji. Yeah, I'm sure the girls would love a vacation. No, I was just thinking you and me and they could stay with their grandparents. Wow. Oh, couples only vacation sounds amazing. Hey, this ought to make you really smile. Guess what I got in the mail today? Um, what? Free tickets to a cruise? <laughs> That's the kind of day I'm having. It's been so amazing. No, it's our class reunion next weekend. Oh yeah, I'm gonna break it down at this party like it's 1999. I, I, I can't go. Wait, what? Why? It's gonna be so fun to see all of our old classmates and see what they've been up to for their whole lives and stuff. I, I, um, no, 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 no. I'm really busy next weekend. Yep, can't go. Sorry. Honey, talk to me. What's going on? You liked school, I thought. Ugh. No, you liked school because you were popular. Wow. I was a total dork. And I'm guessing that the most popular girl in school was, by the way, my biggest bully is going to be there. Bully? I don't remember you getting bullied. You serious right now? You don't remember the toilet swirly incident? Toilet <laughs> swirly incident? No. Maybe you were too busy playing football to notice, but I was being tortured by, well, the group of baddies back in 1999. Oh, I don't remember that. I remember it like it was yesterday. Hey, Brittany, look at that. <laughs> Laura thinks it's 1985. She's got her hair done like rainbow bright. Ugh, it's so ugly. Uh, hi, I can hear you guys talking. Yeah, do we look like we care? Do we look like we even remotely care that we're hurting your feelings? Um, not really. Just get your lunch, Laura, and ignore them. My mom said, just let everything they say, just, just, well, be like I'm wearing a raincoat. And, and what they say is like water. And, and it just flows off the raincoat. It doesn't stick to me. Your mom sounds like a bigger loser than you. What? <gasps> My mom's not a loser. Don't say that. Oh, I forgot to get some pizza. You can't have pizza. That's for the cool girls. Well, I think it's for anybody who has lunch money. Well, don't eat all the pizza there, chubby. <gasps> what? Oh my god, these girls are so mean to me. <laughs> are you kidding me? You got braces? Ugh, brace face, you're even uglier than before you got them. I didn't think that was even possible. Go away, okay? I'm just eating my pizza. Leave me alone. Ugh, we can't leave you alone. Your ugliness is making the lunchroom, well... Just ugly. Ooh. That wasn't a very good comeback, Brittany. Shut up, Megan. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm the biggest baddie around. While you guys are arguing about who's the bigger bully, I think I'll go eat my lunch somewhere else. Like hide in the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, I hate being bullied. Why are they so mean to me? I mean, I thought my hair looked cute like this, and, and it's not my fault I have braces. Come on, Brittany. I have to check my makeup. I don't want it to be messed up after I ate that food. Oh, no. Oh, uh -oh. look who it is. In the bathroom hiding, huh? Ew, she has stuff in her teeth. You know what, Megan? I think maybe she needs to wash her teeth. What? No, I packed some floss. It's in my backpack in my locker. I'll go get it. No, 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 no. We'll handle this one for you. Swirly time, Laura! Let's clean out those braces with some toilet water! Guys, stop it! Ew, gross! Well, maybe you should pack your toothbrush there, pizza face. Yeah, no one wants to see all that pizza in your braces. It's gross. We're just gonna wash that out for you. <laughs> And maybe next time, get perfect teeth like me. Oh, I just shudder thinking of those memories from high school. Wow, honey. I, I didn't know that the baddies just bullied you so badly. They gave you a swirly to, to clean your braces after eating pizza? That's harsh. Yeah. 
which is exactly why I cannot go to this class reunion. But honey, you have so much to be proud of. You have a home and a good job and a husband who loves you and three amazing daughters. I mean, Molly never does her homework, but you know, Ooh. we still love her. Yeah, that's true. Don't you want to see any of your old friends? Ugh, I don't know. I mean, my twin sister is going to be there for sure. She was Miss Popular. Did Dora never stick up for you even once? Um, not really. Dora! 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 What? I don't want anyone seeing you talking to me. Okay, but you're my twin sister. Yeah, but you know the rules at school. We don't look that much alike and no one has to know we're Ooh. sisters. But you are my sister, Dora! I don't want to admit that to anybody, Laura. Now, what do you want? I think Dan's going to ask me to the dance. What? Dan's popular. He's not going to ask you. You're a loser and a dork. <gasps> Dora, that's rude. I'm your sister. Be nice to me. Well, I can't help it. It's the truth. Somehow, I was popular and you came out a total loser. Ugh, whatever, Dora. Whoa. Your sister is not very nice. No, I don't think she's ever grown out of it. Well, honey, I think that everybody's grown up. Come on, let's go to the reunion. The worst thing that could happen is you could stand up to your bullies. Oh, I don't know, Dan. I'll be there with you. Show them what an amazing life you've made. You're not a dork or a loser at all. And you don't have braces anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I could be brave and go. Great. Time to confront your bully. What? I thought you said she'd be grown up and different. Uh-huh. Yep, that's what I said. You won't need to confront your bully at all. <laughs> yeah, not at all. Yeah, this is totally going down. Ah, uh, whatever, Dan. Okay, honey, you ready to do this? Let's party like it's 1999. Kind of excited. I'm not gonna let those bullies get me down. Like you said, they're grown ups now. I'm sure they're not still bullies. Who doesn't grow up and turn into, like, you know, better people? Uh huh, exactly. Oh, yeah, they're totally gonna have a showdown. What? What'd you say? Nothing, honey. Let's go in. Wow, it's exactly like I remember it. Not a thing has changed. Well, that's usually how high schools are. They're the exact same way as we went to school here. Yeah, wow. My locker was right over here. The first one on the left. Ah, the good old days. I thought you had terrible memories of school. Yeah, some, but not all. Well, well, well. If it isn't my twin sister, Laura. Twin sister, Dora. How's living in California going? Amazing. Look at me. Don't I look more beautiful every single year that you see me? You look way more conceited, Dora. That means full of yourself if you didn't know it. I know what conceited means. Ugh, rude. You were always the rude sister. You were so jealous. Whatever, Dora. Let's try to get along. This is our class reunion. I want to have fun. Wow, honey. They have a lot of snacks and stuff out there. Oh, well, that's where you got to. You left me alone with Dora. Well, she's your sister. You should try to get along with her. It's like trying to get along with a, a porcupine. Or a skunk. Neither one of them are very friendly. Actually, one of them really stinks. <gasps> Look, there's the baddies from 1999. Ah! Um, okay, maybe they're different. I mean, they've grown up, right? I should just go say hi to them. Hi, Megan. Hi, Brittany. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. What are you talking about, Megan? I've never even heard that. But, I mean, I've heard it before, but, like, what does it even mean? Uh, hi, guys. Uh, how's your life been going now that you're all grown up? Why are you talking to us? You're still a loser. Oh, what? I'm not a loser. That's not nice to say. Laura! Laura, hi! Do you remember me? I'm Rachel. We went to school together. Oh, hey, Rachel. Yeah, I remember you. 
OMG, I can't believe you're a famous YouTuber now. Will you sign this for me? Wow. Seriously? I'd heard she did YouTube, but like that so last season. TikTok is totally where it's at. Um, uh, yeah, I can make TikTok videos. It's just that our fans like us on YouTube, so we, we make YouTube videos. Oh, um, can I please have your autograph, please? Go away, she's not even cool. You're both losers. Um, sure, Rachel, I'll sign that for you. Thanks so much. Like, maybe we could be friends now that we're grown up and... Sure, uh, I live in Brookhaven still. Where do you live? Oh, I live in Blacksburg. <laughs> Ew, Blacksburg. Gross. Hey, why are you bullying us? I mean, you're supposed to be grown-ups. Yeah, but you're still a loser. Well, I think you guys are losers that you're all grown up. I mean, you're not like your kids anymore. And you're still treating others like, like, like you're bullies. Ooh. I can't believe it. Adult bullies. Are you serious right now? You two need to grow up. Whoa, she totally went mom mode on us. Would you have like a bunch of kids with some loser? Ow. Actually, I had kids with Dan. He's my husband, and he's out in the hallway eating all the snacks. But anyway. Yeah, right. He didn't marry you. You're such a loser, and he was so popular and cute. What? Yes, he did marry me. He thinks I'm amazing. And you know what? You guys are just ugly on the inside. Well, I don't really care as long as I'm pretty on the outside. Look at my face. It's like perfection. Yeah, but your heart is cold and rude and ugh. I can't believe I even came to this stupid reunion. I knew you wouldn't change. You didn't change either. You're still a loser. Actually, she did kind of change. Now she's also grumpy. She's like a grumpy old woman. Is that like gray hair you have and wrinkles, old lady? <gasps> what? Oh, that's it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get this all on video. I'm actually an aspiring YouTuber, so <laughs> you really influenced me, Laura. And I think you guys are going to fight, and this will going to be a great video to, to share on YouTube. What? I'm not fighting you. I would never fight you. You guys are total losers. I have an amazing family, an amazing life, and nothing you say is ever going to change that. You'll always just be bullied. You'll probably go to your grave not having any friends. Uh -oh. Whoa, that was harsh. Why are you talking to us like that? Yeah, are you bullying us? I'm not bullying you. I'm just saying you're rude and and you should really just try to be nice. And I'm out of here. This reunion was a bad idea. I'm going to Starbucks. I'm getting a coffee. Dan, come on, it's time to go.